All right, welcome back to our channel. So, as you guys know, we bought the one storage unit. And here it is. It's all packed up, it's back at home. And we didn't get to go through everything because we were on a little, a lot of bit of a time frame. So we packed a lot of the boxes without actually showing you guys what was in them. And that's what we're gonna do today with you guys. Uh, it's probably mostly gonna be tartar because I either have allergies or like a little sinus infection, we don't know. So I'm not gonna add insult to injury and push myself because usually I do that been doing that and it's not good so I might find something a little bit less dirty to do um but we're we're excited I'm, I'll be out here I'll try and help a little bit because I might get FOMO but yeah I forgot all about that blanket actually I'm gonna throw this in the washer that's something I can do right now which is nice and then I'll I'll wrap it up after it's nice and fresh and give it to Boogie Woogie for Christmas. Let's do this, right? Yeah, and Lucky's here to help. And Luxter's here to help. She's being a bratty queen today, but it's okay. She knows. She's trying to sway me so she can get her Christmas gift early, but it's not gonna happen. So. Let's do this, right? Lucky. Go say hi to your friends, mama. Yeah. <laughs> she actually did. Let's get into it. I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. All right, so as you guys may know from the last video, we bought a five by 10 storage unit in Philadelphia. It's right all here. All of it's basically in the back of the truck right here. Um, we were a little bit dissatisfied with what we saw in the unit and we were a little bit suspicious that maybe it was like a manager special or somebody had taken, gone through it and taken what they wanted and left it. Um, but the whole idea is in the salvage business to make what you can out of what you got so we're gonna go i'm gonna go through all this stuff meticulously sammy's feeling a little she's got a cold basically and i personally would rather her not be digging through these dirty boxes right now if she's feeling sick so she obviously holds up most of the weight on everything that goes on in the whole house which we never mentioned or filmed that much of so if you got a wife or a husband who goes hard on making your house a home you should be thankful for that every day but uh here let's get into it i'm gonna just start bringing down i might just do a time lapse of me like undoing everything and then bringing it down basically and then start showing stuff as i go through it let's get to it this is the craziest this is one of the craziest pack truck stacking pack jobs I ever did. Check this out. So we did find, before when I looked at these, I didn't think of them as anything, but Lily and Vernon set. 1992, made in Japan, exclusively for Lily and Vernon. So were these like... Matching sets. Made for no. Yeah, just for the uh, designer the of the... Okay. Like, like a clothing designer, but for... Like a gift? Dishware. Yeah, definitely yes. a gift. Because look at these. Might have to... Look that up. Because look at this. What? 
These um, are sick. These are really, really cool. <laughs> we could gift them, or we could keep them, or we could sell them. Those are those are gold. I would be like, oh, these are great for your mom, but like, we say adding insult to injury a lot. There's a hawk, but uh, coming to get lobster. But she's got so many dishes. We we that we, would just be mean. That's a score, though. That's where you find treasure. This is very. This is a score. All right, this container had some potential of just like toys, train tracks and stuff. We got a Pikachu, 2017, so not that old. And then we got a whole bunch of toys in here. Some old school. Hmm. Not very old. Actually. Some bad times. Here's a Hot Wheels Porsche. It's pretty nice. Another Hot Wheels car here. Still in the box. Another one. And then a whole bunch of Thomas trains. 2010. I don't know. Not of huge value. But I'd say this container is at least 20 bucks. Alright, here we go. Another toy box. Here's the seat for the Crayola thing. I don't know how much that would be worth. Maybe five bucks. We got a little skateboard. Basically a fake penny board. Cool though. Thing of purses. Which is a little bit creepy, I guess. But let's see. So I opened the first one. And there's nothing in it really. Except for this. Traveler. Little utensil thing. I don't even know what that's for. Just looking for like a stack of five dollar bills in here 1998 damn this stuff has been sitting somewhere for super long like long long these are kind of ones that look like they might have been won at like a casino or something because they're literally well this is a liz claiborne but they're like not even in good enough condition to really even donate them this one has a letter in it this is donatable, I guess. Some of them are just, this is a fossil purse. Which is pretty cool. Nothing in that, nothing in any of them. This is something I've never seen before. Toe bandage in a little pack. It's actually smart but it's ruined. All right, we're pretty, we're getting into it pretty good here. I was trying just not to bore you guys because there is a lot of trash in here. But look what I got. We found a hookah. No idea what kind of value that has, but it's an interesting item. And then, Some weird hammers and this root thing so I'm definitely feeling like this was either an eviction or somebody in the family packed up everything and just throw it in here in the storage unit but Here's one plus bag. Uh, well, this whole container is nice kids clothes, honestly. All kinds of kids pants, sweatshirts, t-shirts. Uh, this is some good yard sale stuff. Kids shoes, but see, this is what I was getting at, the point I was getting at. Kids don't wear their shoes for long. So, kids shoes are always in good condition. Not always, but 
you guys can see a pair of Vans, a pair of Nike high tops that are actually so fresh. Not so fresh, but, and then we got some Doc Martin boots. No way. So here, this bag is kind of legitimate for a kid's shoe collection. I think that this bag might be a $50 bag, which isn't saying a lot, but considering everything else in here, score. All right, let's get into these boxes here that I haven't seen inside of yet. Hmm. Not about all that. Uh, some more toy set. I'm just collecting up the toys here for a toy lot. I don't know what to do. Yeah, but... Alright, so here we go. This is one we've never been into before. Let's just keep it going. Ooh, some kitchen stuff. Some more kitchen stuff. Nobody's going to want to use a cheese grater that was in here. What is this? For waffles, I guess. The one thing that I will say, um, well, first that we've gone through so much stuff that's, you know, basically trash to get to good stuff before. One time we bought eight pallets. So it was like double or tr maybe even more than double the, all this. And basically every single item in there was trash except for we found like a jewelry box all the way in the bottom of one of these totes, like a plastic tote. And it ended up being worth a couple thousand dollars. So you just never know what's going to be in there. Um, stuff gets overlooked. You know, even if this was a situation where all this was looked through, uh, somebody still could have overlooked stuff, obviously. And also I wanted to say that we used to have a situation where we could donate a lot of this, like say like this whole box of kitchen stuff, to our friend Ed. And he used to ship it over to Haiti um, like in a huge box truck or like a, a whole shipping crate full of stuff. But now because of the civil war in Haiti, that specific country isn't allowing stuff to be shipped uh, like it used to be because people are hiding stuff in the cars or in the shipping containers. So kind of an unfortunate thing because stuff that we throw out could be used again in that way. And now it kind of can't. So a little bit of a sad scenario there. It's looking like a flea market out here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Alright, so it. check this out. The KitchenAid mixer, which we knew about. That's a pretty decent score. All this is Christmas stuff. To either be used or we could sell it maybe as a lot. There's a little Christmas hat for MJ. These are so... Perfect size. Christmas lights that we can use for the video. Idea. Brand new. I mean, it's not brand new because it's clearly was in storage, but they didn't use it. So that's probably like 20 bucks at least. Some ice cream here. Uh, somebody knew what it was. And then this, which no idea if you can get the stains out, but for a beach. What? Because like, a beach cover up? you can usually Damn, this is like make a stuff. gnarly uh, sailor moo moo. If you made it tighter oh, or yeah, something. I get those out. Yeah, I could do that. I wish I knew how to like. I always say this, I wish I knew how to stitch uh, quickly and efficiently because I would be very good at making stuff, but this is really cool. And it's only one stain. That's not bad. This is nice too. And then... These are the coolest though. The and Christmas deck, lights. yeah. That's Three different a lights. score because these are like the old ones, aren't they? I mean... These remind me... They're the good. I know that sounds like crazy, but... This is literally for... Bro. That ain't gonna fit on that chicken's head. You wanna see her though? She's out here. Nah, cause she's gonna get picked up by a hawk. There's Should we see her? You did the raking? Yeah. I was like, I'm not gonna go hard, but... I got a... Should we see her? Oh, oh no whoa, he not. Whoa, whoa, see, look, whoa, hold whoa. him back. Hold him back. Don't you dare put that dirty ass hat on Okay, I won't do it then. He already has his, you are gonna do that anyway. his sweater on. I was about to do it. What do you mean? He's my poor. You look so handsome. Ugly sweater party. Yeah. Look, me and Papa. He just woke up from his daily nip nap. Why doesn't he have faces of me on it? You guys match. Look. That is true. Yeah. Why 
watch this girl. Watch uh, this put them girl. back, put them back. This is too risky. These are checks. Obviously, nobody wants somebody's old checkbooks. But look, these are matching earrings. Still sterling, silver. This, no idea what that is. But this is sterling, silver. This is a locket earring. Oh, no, it's not you. This is weird stuff, I know, I know. But yeah, it's all weird, it's just so dirty. Yeah, Whoa. It's like dirty, yeah. Like, that's what I mean, it's weird that they would even... So I'll write that. How long? The dustiest, uh, because how could it still be like, you can see it and it's not even Dude, sunny. Dude, literally the dustiest. Yeah, you were right. I do want to get in there, this, this kind of stuff. Don't get in there. I've been meticulously going through this just to get enough stuff to even show you. And here's a Disney pin, though. What, what does it look like? From uh, 89. I know somebody who might take that. Wow. Yeah, that's why you gotta go through everything. It's all that silver, not that it's a lot, but... Better than nothing at all, you know? I would take it to the, uh, like, moving along now, if I was you, because, like, the dust coming out of this box specifically is... I know, what the... Maybe you should wear, like, I don't know, babe. I mean, you're wear not bothered mask. by the dust. No, nah, the dust is, is fine. This is dirty. Like, it might just be glasses, but let's see. It's a Skill Twist Extra electric screw gun with the charger and this little socket set. A little tool there. Notebooks, folders. Mail, of course. What'd you bring? I brought you a copy. Why would you do that? For because you're working hard out here. What do you think we got in here? Probably not gold. <laughs> From maybe. the looks of it, looks of it. You never know. From the looks of it, what would you say? Not gold. <laughs> Stand mixers are nice. Is that KitchenAid? Yeah, that's those are good. expensive to buy now. Yeah. Like if it's it works, someone wants it. It's literally like five hundred dollars now. Yeah. But we found some silver here. Not gold. But good good Sterling Silby. good claims. Very nice. These two are matching. Not bad. <laughs> ah that cracked me up. That was good. Go ahead, say what you said. I missed it. <laughs> I was going pure gold, pure gold. Oh wait, no, the label says solid brass. <laughs> <laughs> that's not gold, dude. That's not good. Is look this at good? gold? Solid gold in here. Oh yeah, look at that piece. That's pretty good. Look at this. Was probably used by like Babe Ruth. Doubt it. That's a hundred percent true. Was used by no one. That's not true. It was used by someone. Pure gold. What's the best thing in here? You think? Oh, I found it. This is gonna pay for the whole storage locker. All right, what is it? Boom. That's true, it could, if it was in the metaverse. A Bostitch stapler. Oh, it's got staples in it, there you go. Perfect. You made your money back on staples. Staples alone were worth it. How about this? <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's, Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. That's the biggest piece of trash I've ever seen. Get out of here. You got a whole Thomas the Tank Engine claim going on. Look, you got the backpack, and if you come around here, boom. I mean, that's true. Somebody would want that. If your kid is into Thomas, bam. Now they're driving Thomas through the living room. It's not, but all this is Thomas related as well. That's a good claim. Little socket set.
told you there's gold in here. You were hiding the gold. This is gold. This is like a real painting, like a classical painting that everyone knows about. Like I've seen this in textbooks. The frame's kind of fun, but. The whole piece is so good. It's real good. Look, some lingerie for you. Oh, I don't Little nighty that. skirt. Anywhere near me. <laughs> that was right for my head. It was gonna just cover your whole face. It was coming right at me. This is uh, not Dude. the best. I don't know about that box. Personal paperwork. Yeah, old like resumes and stuff. So like worse. We like just I just pulled these two in here and they couldn't resist. And now Paul's just digging deep. This is like Santa's little elves in here. Why is it all dusty though? It's super dusty. Here's like Raphael. And Sammy J finding some goods. Is it so creepy that I want to like wash these and keep them? Nah, because all this stuff that was in those bins was actually relatively clean. Minus the mouse poop that's on the bottom of them, but I'll clean it. Well, that happens. So, Sammy J, the find of the day, which is so dumb, but kids' shoes mm. that are in decent condition. People need to buy kids' shoes to see how those shoes so freaking fast. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly why. Look at the bottoms. Brand new. They wore them out in a day. Yep. Those are nice. Fresh J's. Like Air Jordans. Bam. And then these. Bam. Well, Doc Martens? No way. Doc Martens. Cool. Wait, what? So I'm saying. You know they paid like 80 bucks for these. I know they did. Even though they're kids' shoes, it's still expensive. That's Super insane. Expensive. These are nice. Those are real nice. And you know kids don't like, like kids that are tiny like this don't have like stinky, stinky feet. No, but like obviously they use this one the most. And not these at all. Little vans. These three are gold. The vans too. And they the zip in the back. I need that. Right? Oh, that's super convenient I used to have for Velcro ones. For these shoes, need them. Because tying these and getting them on is a burden. Just a little. So what'd you find? Some gold. Someone here worked for Aramark because there were resumes from Aramark. Made in USA. Here's wow. the lid for those. Little Pyrex dish. The lid. I don't know how gross they are though. The actual lids are what you would call a no-go. This looks like the rest of them. Is that correct? It's, I think it's whatever that is. Yeah. Hey. Like this. These are good. These are really good. That's called Weddies. Those are for the baby cat, cat kikis. Mm -hmm. Can make a little these souffle nice. for bugs. These are real nice. Are you what do you use those for? Baby food? Just saying, they're Pyrex. They're nice these are for the anyone. Pyrex, Sammy. Like these little guys are, py are real Pyrex. What is it? This nasty ass old basting brush. It feels good on my skin. No, it doesn't. Stop. Yeah, it does. It's so nasty. It's full of oil. You could easily lick that and be happy with it. No. Hell no. Alright, we're going into one we never opened. But we can pretty much guess what's in it. Yeah, more of that same like the last box. <laughs> is it kind of like a mystery box though? <laughs> here, get it here. That's it. The dream. Whoever packed these up went in on it though. Yeah, it was gorilla tape. Oh, uh, it said kitchen, but it doesn't look like kitchen. Nah. Neck resters. There's a tote bag for you. Yeah, casserole dishes. Perfect. Not perfect. Clothes. Yeah, McGurk Carpentry Inc. And of course, some Vaseline. Yeah, a bunch of tea in a jar. This? Ooh. I only have a few things to do with that. Petroleum jelly for your butthole. Come on, bring it inside, Tuck, me and you. <laughs> Time <laughs> yeah. to hit the showers, boys. <laughs> Paul found something. A little teapot. A little Find of the year. A little parrot, parrot teapot. What's it say on the bottom? 
FF 1989. Oh, see, so that's like actually old. Yeah. Solid. It even looks like a treasure chest. This one we never even opened, right? That's gold in there. Oh, oh, let's see. That. It's so heavy that I know it's just books or clothes. Mm. That's not true. It could just be bars of gold. Oh, baby Tim, Tim's more baby shoes. Tim's. Dude, little baby. Tim. High tops. All clothes. All gold. I don't know if I'd say all gold. <laughs> Damn, look at all this Christmas stuff, though. Oh. Christmas. The baby. Christmas. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah. Very we funny. Very funny. We'll use that. For the drone. Is there a bunch of hats, other stuff. Maybe just leave this in here. Baby stuff. This is all just shoes, dude. Like fresh Nikes and stuff. Like kids ones. Adidas. Vans. Dude, so many baby shoes. This is a... Dude, look at these. Nike boots. Yeah, throw them in here. Basically brand new baby Timberlands. This is a come up at the flea. US 7. Nah. No, right? License plate. Not bad. For your guy. Dude, more. No. All the freshies. All the baby Nikes you could ever want. Those are like toddler shoes. These are like Jordans. And freshies. Oh my gosh. No, they're not. Sammy J. Whoa, those ones are cool, the first ones. More like, than that. Because look, they have the little, is that glow in the dark? I think that's it. Yeah, the little Jordan thing on the side, that's it probably is. That's clothes, what it though. seems like it would. These are cool. That's all kids' clothes in there. Very, very cool. Jordan's Air Force Ones, what? Which the clothes are in good shape too in there, so. All right, Sammy might have scored a nice box here. Are, um, I mean, yeah, actually. Look at this, Paul. Mr. Barbecue. But look. Nice. This is weird, but stockings, whatever. But the PJs is the score. Size small, and it has nutcrackers and little ballerina tutus on it. Yeah. So there is a possibility that this was a manager special. Because these clothes in these totes are so clean. They smell like fresh laundry. As if they were, and they're not the same size as the lady. That's, yeah. So, like, they just threw these in with. That's what I was saying. I was like, I don't, I don't like that. That's they, so disrespect. Know, so. Look at this, though. Ocean City, Paul. Nice. And then check these out. I saved these for you. These are so cool. Dr. Seuss. Did you see these? See, what are they, Razor? They're Razor. Yeah, I saw those. Oh, this, nice. is a, this is aluminum now, so it won't stack. Nope. This guy's drinking his chicken broth over here. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. He's gonna I save it. I challenge you to. Yeah, I'm gonna save that chicken broth for later. Mm, some crab Canada, crabs. Maryland, Tennessee Titans. Nice, nice. Mm. Nice, nice. I don't know what all these are. Are these for clothes or hair? For napkins, tablecloths. Yeah, oh. Like a table setting. Oh, wow, you're right. Randomly, she gives you uh, the nice napkins. All this is like maybe like kids. Are those silver? Oh, oh, but that looks but those are, are for, those are for eating like crabs. Eating crabs? That's what it looks like. Stainless. Yeah. Or like lobster. Yeah. Clams. These are for lobster because they're crabs because you got the pick so you can pick it out. No, that's that's for smoking hash oil. No, yeah, get the is. fuck out of here. The dab pen. This is not a dab pen. This is for eating crab, bro. Crab, <laughs> crab crab, that's for it's a crab pen, not a dab pen. <laughs> so much better with Paul. All right, we got spaghetti. Spaghetti. We got mm, cheyenne peppers. See, now these Time. are boxes that Leaves. I don't like. Spices. Coming. 
It's Paul style, apparently. Ah, this, uh, this guy. Dear Grandma, God is always with you. I love you and whatever I can do, I will do for you. I love you. So she had a good uh, support system, this lady. Old ass planter's jar. That's pretty cool, actually. It is cool. It is the 75th anniversary. The planter's guy that walks around on the AC boardwalk? This is from... That was in like 1920, though, when that happened. Long ago. This is Ikea. Let's just see what this is. Christmas jar. A lot of jars in here. Broken. Broken. What do we got? I'm golden though. Oh look. We don't even have to buy candy canes this candy year. Candy canes. Fruit snacks. Look, Dora the Explorer's fruit snacks. <laughs> yeah, Paul. I got like 80 more of these hitting in the other side of the yard. You want to do the crate challenge? No. <laughs> Would no. you do it? The Wawa crates are sick though. I actually like this. Why am I going to do this? So I can show up as a patient at your job? At <laughs> your own Start. job? Yeah. All right, look at this. So we got, what is this? A Direct TV? Direct TV box of useless. You can't reuse them, I don't think. Which is kind of makes me sad because I thought it was a laptop at first. Behind the trailer, it's on. Damn. I was hoping for, hoping for some gold there. So, yeah, if you could sum up the storage unit in two words. I say, I say baby shoes. Baby shoes. Baby shoes. There's so many good ones. They're in really good shape. And people always need baby shoes for cheap because they're expensive to buy new and your kids outgrow them in two weeks. Check this out, though. Wait till you see that. Wait till you see. Wait till you see. Because the whole game might have just changed Who up. Is this Dude. No way. Yeah. The little tights come up. Look at that. These. Why are they so like moldy though? Oh my gosh. That's legitimate. That's a nice stream right there. Is that little tykes, right? Maybe not. It's just a knockoff of it, huh? Is there like a car? Well, I guess a knight. Yeah. You know those like little tykes ones? That's what I thought it was. But I guess it's not. It's a similar one. Because, like, see this guy? He's supposed to be, like... That's him. That's who we're looking for. Yo, this is the jousting field. Back here is where the king sits. And when he hits this, it knocks all the targets down. See the thrones? Do you the... think he can go down it? Yeah. I don't think he does. No. Yeah, no. like that. You're lying. He almost did that. Ooh, he's picking up speed. There he goes. I think this is not like exactly level. No. Perfect. <laughs> the lights, right? Nice. You're, um, who's that? Yeah. Check this out. More, more toys. So we got Hess truck. Oh, you love those. Well, I don't love them, but I end up, I end up with them a lot. And then lots of other toys. Melissa and the dog's little wagon. This is mostly the kids' toys in these. Little hat. These shades. These shades are your style. That's true. You know me. I do. Solar shield. What do you got there? A big slinky. You need some big stairs for this to go down them. That's for damn sure. 
<laughs> Everybody did. Well, then that you're one's... in luck. Well, I got some news for you. Sammy, I found something for you. Ooh. Wait till you see what's underneath. The rainbow no, fish. Not. I'm not going to cry, but this is one of my favorite stories. This is a uh, keep life. That's legit keep life. This might be too. Abby winner. That's keep life too. It's a hardcover. Horton hatches the egg. Never saw that one before, but I guess they had to go off. Paul, you know the rainbow fish. Yep. I like this one. Thank you. Check this out. It's a little Ruvra pendant. Hey. Hi. Look, it's a Ruvra. All right, so it's the end of the day here. The sun is going down. We are about to, do I'm about to donate all the clothes that we don't want uh, into these drop boxes right here by our house. I just wanted to make a statement for the end of the video that this storage unit was not a big win for us. Um, we didn't get that much stuff of good value. Uh, I think we're going to make our money back off of it, but that's not really the point. The point is to actually make money on top of what you spent. But in this business, you take risks every day. And I will say that it was super fun hanging out with Sammy when we did the unit, obviously. Um, just enjoying life together and having adventures all the time is priceless. So you can't not put a price tag on that. Also, just today hanging out with Sammy and Paul and going through the boxes was super fun. So not a big win, but also not a loss. So you just got to keep pushing every day and hopefully the next one's better. So just hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, everyone, for more content to come um, and some big announcements actually coming up pretty soon. We've been trying to get a lot of things in order and uh, we have some pretty crazy news to be unfolded in the next couple months or whatever but uh also either way hit that thumbs up button if you like the video questions comments concerns anything something a story you want to tell that you can relate to us and what happened with this unit uh please just leave it in the comments below and if this is your first time watching or if you haven't hit that subscribe button it really does help us so hit that subscribe button please. And we will see you guys next time. Peace. Sissy, made it in the shot, girl. Sissy just got right in there where we're about to film. What do you have to say to everybody? Oh, because she's waiting for her present. That's why. She likes to get petted. Did you know that? The scissor? Yeah. And she likes warm blankets. And pettings. All right. What's up, everybody? So we've been getting into the Christmas spirit a bit early this year. Mm -hmm. Check out these sweet matching PJs that we got from Target. We went to Target. We were those people. What do you mean? We are those people, but we are. But it is out. it is right down the street from us, so. <laughs> Let's see yours. Oh, I got a onesie. Okay, okay. I, I put, see you. I have you. a sweater on, but I and see I you. The hood. It's very nice. So it's technically just matching material. It's just matching material, yeah. Because mine's a little bit different. I wanted like more <laughs> more flavor, but they didn't have any. So, but uh, we got something special we wanted to open for the kitties today mm -hmm. from Linda and Pete. I believe this is from them anyway. And they said in the email that they hope that Lucky can enjoy it as well. So, let's see what it is. Hey. What is it? What? It's their faves. Oh, because they had these. Lucky girl actually say you know, because Lucky really does. That's her to us originally. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. She did say that though. 
Because we still have these. I always have to get them out from under the couch for the babies. Because I know MJ really likes these too. Actually, I think all of them favor these like flatter ones. Blue does. Yeah. Oh yeah, for the precious kitties from Linda and Pete. So. I love these. Thank you, Linda and Pete. We'll make sure Lucky gets on one of these. Should we give it to him before? Yeah, we can do it now if you want. Right. Let's do it. I gotta cut the plastic off. Damn, yeah, because these are pretty heavy. It's a ball fight! <laughs> I almost what? just stabbed Rue in the face with these. I will <laughs> kill you. Literally. She just knocked herself in the head. She's getting it. Get the squirrel. Oh, she grabbed it out of my hand. Look. Go get Rue. Give it to her. Let her have it. Watch. She'll get it in her mouth and then she'll walk away. Rude loves these ones. She loves them. Says he's not so you can thank Linda and Pete. Is it funny that <laughs> I literally <laughs> slopped this she cat bed? Herself. Just slopped this cat bed on the chair. Yep. Like thinking I'll put this bag after we're done filming because it was on the couch. Mm -hmm. Look at someone. I know. Who just sleeps in it. She like, does that to ev when I'm freaking folding laundry. I'm saying like I put it here without like setting it for someone to sleep on it. She still just loves it. That's what they do. And then she'll cry to go back out. Bug bug. Buggy, what are you doing? What's Buggy doing out here? Being a buggy. What did he do today, you think? Did buggy things. Which involves? Buggy things. Which involves sleeping, eating, being extremely handsome, and, you know, having the best smell booty on the block. Other than yours. <laughs> True. Come but on. Bring it over buggy. here. I didn't mean that. Bring it. Your booty smell good, Bugs. Ruru knows how to play with us. She does. The girls. They know. Oh, she awakened the the MJ. Snaz. They can smell the catnip in here. Alright, here she is. The queen of the, cent the century here. I had to make a whole big play date for Lucky to come. Yeah. And get her weddies. Her she pet tays. Dude. She really just wants her toy though. Toy. The one that's the skunky one, right? That's what I was thinking. Lockster. Look. That's yours. That's yours, Mama. Your friend sent that to you. Yeah. Rue's gonna steal it from Oh shit. Cause Rue's toy's right there. I threw it out here because she was playing with it. Bucky. Bucky. Get it. Boxer. She's an old gal. That sounds perfect. Alright. I gotta loosen the lizard though. Where's the uh <laughs> <laughs> What's loosen the lizard mean? I don't know, isn't that Drain what like like men say when they have to write a new recording? Loosen the lizard? Yeah. I was thinking it was called like drain the main vein. Excuse me guys. <laughs> Alright, let's main you gotta loosen vein. the lizard and then we'll finish. I gotta go pee! Oh, Alright, you drop you drop uh you done lurking the lizard. The lurk in the lizard. That right. is what men say though. I've heard it before, or I just heard it on a movie. So we got this gift from uh, the guy who sent us the Max Fine skateboards. His name's Steven Su in China. And he said we love, that he watched our videos and that we love coffee so much that we have to have these. That's what he said. And then he sent them off. They're like bricks in here though. <laughs> Gotta open that too. This one's for you. Cause this is the queen one. You sure it's not for sis? It's for you. Oh it's wait a second. These are both for you, but I'll I'll act like one for me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that too, it'd be worth it. Right. 
right, let's see these things. Straight mirrors. These things are luxury. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> crown look, look top. Who's coming. Rue's coming, Rue's coming. She's like, crown? Mom's crowning me? Woo woo. What after this? Let's get into this. Oh my god. And I love <laughs> this color. No, this is fully for you. It says queen of everything on it. Oh, no de <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely for you. I didn't know there was writing on it. <laughs> queen of everything. She said, yeah, this, this is, is for you. This is this is really uh, fancy. This is crazy luxury, right? Oh, did they think we were going to re-gift it? No, no. They sent it to us as a gift. Like for oh, us. well, thank you. I no, I'm saying because... for. Maybe it... This you, is for maybe. the box. Yeah, maybe. In case Here, you it comes keep with, your mugs it extra, comes with extra a, nice in your cabinet. The sugar stirrer. And that's it. Oh, this is actually a nice touch because I've never seen that. And then you can like put this down, right? I'm assuming we'll do it right here. Do it on this little table. Little table. Oh, well. Rara. Come on, bro. Just nah, she'll sit here. She's Gucci. But look. So you can. I guess that's to keep your coffee hot or tea or whatever you choose to drink. And then you put this right here, right? Is that the idea? And then. Stir your cream. Am I wrong? Or am I right? I don't know. Either way, it's very, very nice. Thank you. Hold it up with the top on. This is... Oh, crown. Without the spoon, right? Without the spoon. Queen of everything. That's you. That's you all day. I thought you were taking a picture. You want it for the video? Yeah, I just got it. I got it. Okay, I was going to say, hold it. <laughs> I'm more still for you. I just, dropped the, I just dropped the camera. I just dropped the other camera because I had camera two cameras. It's <laughs> just two cameras. Okay. I was... And the other one's the same thing, but just, uh, what do you call it? You can be the queen of everything. I think in, in blue or something. Wait, what happened to the other one? It's It fell right there. So this one, you could give to another queen maybe if you want. Because that's the queen, that's the Yekin cute queen coffee mug with lid and golden spoon ceramic and tea mugs of everything cup for hot cold beverage. GI. GI. That's what it said. That was the whole description of it. Um, Say so yeah, it's the same idea. I can give this to you somebody. You could gift that one. I can. So thank you. That, uh, Saves money and it's actually very nice. I've never seen anything like this. Like with the little spoon and then the crown. Very nice. I like it. 